as all of you know, uh, we have had a really vigorous and at times heated discussion uh, about nominations to the Supreme Court over the course of the last four and a half years. And during that period of time, uh, we have traded opinions uh, and traded disagreements. Uh, and during that entire period of time, though, um, one of the things that uh, we don't talk a lot about publicly, but has been going on on and off all during those four and a half years was an effort by myself and the Senate President uh, to find common ground uh, in places where we could and to reach compromise in places where we could. I think that's symbolized our relationship on a whole host of issues over the last four and a half years, and it continues to now. Uh, we found that common ground with Ann Patterson. We found that common ground with Judge Justice Fernandez Vina. Um, and today we find that common ground uh, with Chief Justice Rabner uh, and with Judge Solomon. Uh, in the end, uh, I have expressed very clearly my disagreements with this court, and, and I have expressed very clearly at times um, disagreements that I've had with individual opinions of the court, and I'll continue to do so, um, because I believe I have a First Amendment right to do it, and I think I have an obligation to do it as Governor of New Jersey when I believe um, that my opinions need to be expressed to explain what public policy is all about and the impact the court has on public policy. That being said, though, uh, there was, I don't think, a louder or stronger voice seven years ago uh, for Stuart Rabner to become the Chief Justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court. And over the last seven years that I've watched him be the Chief Justice, um, my respect for him has never been diminished. I've disagreed with him, and I've expressed that publicly. Um, but never have I thought that he hasn't run the courts in a fair, effective, and efficient manner. Um, never have I thought that he's brought any bias or partisanship um, to his execution of his duties as Chief Justice, um, and never have I thought that he wasn't eminently qualified uh, to be the Chief Justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court. Um, and so while there's been much speculation um, about all this uh, from people who don't know anything about what I'm really thinking, um, I'm really pleased to be here today and to be placing uh, his name and nomination for tenure as Chief Justice of the Court. We have known each other for 13 years, uh, and uh, I have come to respect him over that period of time and to also consider him a friend. And so I'm happy that we were able to move forward with his nomination, and I urge the Senate uh, to give him swift consideration and confirmation. Uh, I've known uh, Judge Lee Solomon for a bit longer than that. Uh, and he has served this state in many, many different capacities. Uh, as an elected official uh, at the local and county and state level, uh, as an appointed official in my cabinet, uh, as the president of the BPU, and twice as a judge of the Superior Court uh, of New Jersey, now as the assignment judge in Camden County. Uh, there is a, no one I've met in public life who is a more universally well-liked and well-respected person than Judge Lee Solomon. And he is that because he brings to every job he has open-mindedness, enthusiasm, fairness, and a love of his work. All of those things, along with his intellect, his decisiveness, and his ability to work with others, will serve him and the state extraordinarily well on the New Jersey Supreme Court. And so I'm glad to have the opportunity uh, to nominate someone that I know so well uh, for a position that I consider to be so important.